Hello, this is Malorian, and uh, today we're going to be talking about keeping your eyes on the prize. And what this is really about is not all games that you play are about just slaughtering your opponent. A lot of games now, especially in tournaments, have to do with a certain objective you have to meet that has nothing to do with whether some units live or die. Uh, one of the ones that are going to be coming up one in six times now for fantasy is the Watchtower, where it doesn't matter you know who dies where or, or what it all that matters is who controls that watchtower at the end and of course you know as I said t tournaments have so many different variants on these whether it's controlling several points killing a sin single model getting something to some point just something that has to do with nothing to do with uh, how other models die or not so whenever you're playing these these games it's always very important that you always keep focused on what it is you know don't get distracted uh, thinking that oh you know it, I can do this to crush these units over here if it has nothing to do with you accomplishing your primary objective for that mission why even bothering with it unless it's something for fun or it has something else like if I beat this unit then they can't try and stop me further down the road type thing right um, so part of this as well is also trying to fool your opponent um, if you are having to say, for example, needing to control a certain objective, right? And it's on one side of the board. Well, one thing you can do that's kind of a psychological thing is start deploying some units on the other side. And what you're trying to do is trying to draw his focus over. And this doesn't have to be your main units. You can start off things with, say, like a unit of archers. Just something out there that looks nice and soft and easy to kill. Well, also, they might deploy a unit of cavalry over there, right? To go and try and get rid of those archers really easy. Get an easy kill. Well, all right. Now you counter his cavalry by taking some infantry. Well, okay, now he counters your infantry by placing some chariots or some heavy hitters. And what you're doing is you're going and drawing his forces away from what the prize is and if you do this right you can have him co totally convinced in his mind that the game is all about this fight here and he's thinking about okay what am I going to do to fight these guys what am I going to do to counter this when at the same time it has nothing to do with what the real objective is over here and you can do this with your speech as well right you lead a little more along saying oh you know like oh damn you place that so you can you can beat this okay now I'm gonna place this to stop you so you're really trying to help focus in his mind that part portion of the game that has nothing to do with over the on the other side and remember too that a lot of times you can even continue that by having some of your units facing that other direction and then once the game starts redirecting them towards the main objective um, you can even try and downplay things during the game and not even go for the objective at the beginning as long as he isn't. And that's the big thing here is that if he ever catches on to this, obviously the psychological aspect is gone. You know, if, if I've deployed those archers on the other side and they go, all right, and they just deploy their big infantry block across from the watchtower or whatever the main objective is, then you know, all right, I'm not fooling anyone and all of a sudden you have to really just go back to your normal tactics of trying to win the game by getting whatever the objective is. So that's why if you are going to do that and you're going to try and bait them off of something, do it either with a long range unit like archers or a war machine so that even if they don't buy the bait that then it's still effective. Or something like fast cad that can quickly deploy back uh, to a spot where you need them. Um, apart from that, you know you can still try and do things in game even if they've caught on uh, sometimes let's say uh, it's getting to the point where they could either take this unit and move it towards an objective or they could attack a unit that you've put there so what you can do is just move up a unit so it's there ready to be attacked and uh, they might think that oh yeah now my chaos warriors are gonna kill those let's say minute at arms but then again it has nothing to do with the real objective so there's lots of little things you can do, but the main thing is that in these games where it doesn't matter what all happens anywhere else, just make sure to keep that in mind and know that everything you're, you're doing should have something to do with winning the overall game. And don't get lost in the whole mindset of victory points or anything like that. So that's a quick little thing I wanted to put down for today, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. And as I have said before, if you want me to talk about anything else, just let me know. and. I'll throw it into a podcast further down the road. So thanks for watching. Bye.